Everyone knows these are sunglasses, but what do you call these things? I call that my earpiece. Bands? Wings? Pain in the ass. I have no idea. What do you call it? I didn't know what they were called either. I just knew that whenever I wore a headset, they were super uncomfortable. Some sunglasses, they like do the bow thing. A lot of them come up short. Quite a bit of pressure on the nose. So I did an experiment. I grabbed a sander in my garage and started sanding down the sides to see how thin they could go without breaking. And that's how Flying Eyes was born. As a pilot, my original goal with Flying Eyes was to make them as comfortable as possible for pilots wearing headsets. Pretty soon, all kinds of people started asking for them. Motorcyclists, firefighters, EMTs, gamers, even an orthopedic surgeon wanted a pair. As more and more people have learned about Flying Eyes, they've asked if I can make them as fashionable as they are comfortable. To make that happen, I sold my plane and hired a designer to help me make some of the best looking frames out there. For this campaign, we've created a number of new designs, including the Golden Eagle, the Hawk, the Cooper, the Kestrel, and the Kingfisher. All the new designs are made with Ultim, a flexible patented material that makes them virtually indestructible. And this time around, we've made them even thinner, just one millimeter thick, making them some of the lightest, most comfortable glasses you'll ever find. I can barely fill it. It didn't take much to just put them in my helmet. It's like perfect. I just like the, the level of attention paid to that. I've never seen sunglasses like this. I finally found out what these are called. Temples. Who knew? 